All right, this is part two of a sequence in media settings. Now, there's a few different ways you can view either of these. So let me show you. Now, I'm, in, I'm still in my Bombers music video here. It's, this is a little bright. I'm going to get right up in here and show you. Now, assuming <laughs> that every single clip is the same, since you captured them all at the same time, you should be able to view any and all of the settings right next to them, right here. Let's click over here, and you can see all the different settings for each each of these clips they should be identical but you know what this is a pain in the butt to see and you know sometimes if you really wanted to you could take this expand it and see them all at the same time for every single one and then go and look at them but um, I don't like doing that and by the way a quick way to get rid of this is to go arrange and then I have something called Steve One where it's a saved arrangement, so it brings everything back to normal. That's just a little something you can do. If you want to know more about it, please request it and I'll show you. But if you click on one of these guys, right, right click on one of these guys, or command click if you don't have the right click mouse, and then you want to go down to, now believe it or not, it's not clip settings. For some reason it should be clip settings, but you want to go to item properties, format, and it brings up this little window. This bring, well, it's actually a pretty big window, but now this is this is a window that tells you just this clip, but you know you can assume that this clip matches every other clip since you did them all at the same time. And let's get in here. Let's see what we got. First of all, we got the type of clip, the name of it. What is it? It's QuickTime Player. Where now source means where it is in my computer. It's in my hard drive too. So capture Scratch. We got the size. It's 33.3 megabytes. It's fairly you know it's not that big of a it's not many it's not long. When it was last modified, well, we got tracks here. We got one video track. Uh, it's, that's not going to focus on that. We got one video track and two audio tracks. Now, there we go. Video rate, 29.97 FPS. Now, why is it 29.97 and not 30 frames a second? Well, there's a long answer for that that I'm not going to give you. Basically, because it's digital video and it's interlaced, and blah, 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 it's really 29.97. But for all intents and purposes, it's 30 frames per second. Then we get the frame size, then we get the compressor, which actually happens inside the camera. Yes, the HD footage with a V1U is compressed. The name of that compression is called HDV, as opposed to DVC Pro HD, or XD Cam. Uh, I can talk more about that if you'd like to. Data rate, you know, who cares? Pixel aspect, you know, who cares? Uh, then, you know, com all this other crap, who cares? Audio rate, you know, all this other stuff. So, there's your, there's your setting. H how long has this video been so far? Let's see if I need to go to part three. Two minutes and 53 seconds. I'll make it a little longer and then we might go to part three. So, there's your media settings. And as you can see, right here, vid rate. Please zoom into that. That would be very nice. Yeah, well, you know, I might have to just point. You know, sometimes technology. All right, so, vid rate. Let's make a mental note of that, 29.97. Okay, now, before I end this video, we'll go down here. Where do you find your sequence settings? There's a couple of ways to get that. You can hit, you can hit uh, Command O, Apple, Apple Zero. You can come down here and right click, well no, you can't do that. Well, you can go into the, 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 uh, the browser over here and right click on Sequence and go to Settings. You can do that. Or you can actually come up to Sequence and then click Settings, which is, what it's there for. Then you get this window. Now, editing time base, 29.97. But sometimes, for instance, on the how to date an Asian woman, let's cancel this for Christ's sake. Let's come over here, how to date an Asian woman. Then one of the sequences I called um, classroom. The settings for this guy, as you can see, 23.98. 24 frames a second. It's digital. It's not blah blah blah. It's 24 frames a second. Um, and you can see it's different. So, how do you change those? I'll show you in part three. You might need to manually do this, um, but like I said, if you have an up-to-date version, you won't. So please get an up-to-date version. Okay, part three coming up soon.